this video, we're going to talk about saving setups and waveforms as well as loading setups back in, those types of things. So you have a couple options here. Um, one is you can, of course, go under the menu and go to file. Um, but I'd like to use the save and load button here on the front. And so when you hit the save and load button on the front, it pops up a number of different options. And one of the first ones is for you to save your setup. And so when you save your setup, you can come into that and say save or load. Um, you can export these to a thumb drive, that type of thing. Um, you can also, this is where you would load a factory default. So if you wanted to go back to something um, that was the very beginning, the way that the unit came, um, that's what the factory default is for. If you go into the save menu, um, it's going to give you a couple options and how you want to save it, what the name is, where you want it to save to. You can add a comment to it. Um, you can also save these off onto a thumb drive. If we go into the load menu, there's a couple kind of interesting things here. Um, one is, so initially you can have it set up where it just gives you a file list. And this can be nice if you know the date, that type of thing that you're looking for. But one of the pieces that I really like is this icon view. And so when you go to the icon view, if you save to setup, it also takes a screenshot and uses that um, kind of image as an overview of that file setup. And so for me, I'm a visual person. I think this makes it significantly easier to find the uh, setup that you want to load. And so you can see here like this one, um, it's pretty easy to see what I was doing at that point. Um, and you can then load that setup itself. If we go back in um, and we go back a step, you can save your reference waveform. So you can have up to four reference waveforms that you want to be able to use. Um, you can also then save those off if you wanted to export them to something like a thumb drive. Um, if we go into the waveforms, this is where you can save the files off onto a thumb drive and we give you a lot of flexibility in what you save off. Um, so you can save just the display data, you can save the acquired memory, you can save the history data, you can say what the sources are, what format you want to save it in. Um, there's a number of different formats that are available for you. One other neat thing when you're saving the waveforms, we'll actually tell you the number of samples that we're going to save, roughly what the file size is, and roughly how long it's going to take for it to save that um, file that you're trying to save off. So pretty nice. It gives you some indication of how long that might take. If we go to screenshots, similarly, you have a lot of options. So um, again, you can name it. You can change the format that you want between bitmap and PNG. You can save whether you want it to be in grayscale, inverted, um, color, those types of things um, can be nice from a documentation standpoint. You can also save off your equation sets. And then one of the, I think, most powerful capabilities we have is something called OneTouch. And OneTouch is directly tied to this little camera button over here on the front panel. And you can set up what you want the oscilloscope to save when you push that button. And um, so this is kind of neat. If we go into the one touch menu, we give you a number of different options that you can automatically save all at once. So you can save your setup, you can save a screenshot, you can save the waveform data, um, you can save the references, you can save the search event table, um, the bus table, the statistics from your measurements. Um, you can go through and select any of these to automatically save when you hit that one touch button. And um, I think that's really powerful and um, a relatively unique capability in this class of instrument. 